So it is finally here. Apple has just released iOS 18.0.1. Now this is the first update to iOS 18 since the initial release. Now this software update aims to fix several issues for iPhone users as well as iPads with M4. Now you may remember where I talked about iPads with M4 do not have an official iOS 18 update. So iOS 18.0.1 released today for iPhones and iPads should bring iOS 18 to iPads for the first time. Now in order for everyone to update as of today, keep in mind this software is not beta or anything like that, is available for everyone to download right now you want to make sure you jump into settings on your iPhone you want to make sure you go under the software updates and iOS 18.0.1 is now available for everyone to download for iPhone and iPad as well now keep in mind that Apple also released the Mac OS 15.0.1 Vision OS 2.0.1 and watch OS 11.0.1 is also available today now there were several issues that this software was expected to fix and it looks like Apple will be addressing most of the issues for most iPhone users on the latest 18.0.1. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So let's go over some of the release notes here from Apple. With iOS 18.0.1, Apple is looking to address four issues on iPhone. Now the first issue is touchscreen issues on the new iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models. Now you may remember when I talked about some iPhone 16 and 16 Pro owners reporting issues with their touchscreen where sometimes it would just not respond to taps. So just keep in mind that Apple has has acknowledged this and officially fixed this with iOS 18.0.1. So if you were having touchscreen issues, then you need to update to iOS 18.0.1 on the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. Now, other iPhones were also reporting this issue, but we'll get to that here in just a few seconds. Number two, Apple is also addressing camera issues on the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. So if you were capturing video on your iPhone's camera, right, the iPhone 16 Pro or 16 Pro Max, and you were using the macro mode, this could cause the iPhone to actually freeze or the camera to actually freeze on your device. So it appears that Apple is addressing camera may freeze when recording macro mode video on the ultra wide camera in 4K with HDR turned off on iPhone 16 Pro models. Of course, that also includes the 16 Pro Max. So if you were having camera issues where your iPhone was just freezing and you saw those weird freezing issues with the macro, then this issue is now addressed and Apple has acknowledged this with 18.0.1 addressing these camera issues. Now, the third issue being addressed here has got to do with the messages application. You may remember where I talked about if someone was to share an Apple watch face with you via messages, if you reply to that message thread that contain an Apple watch face, it could cause the messages application to crash on your iPhone. Well, Apple has once again acknowledged that with iOS 18.0.1, and it is now fixing this issue. So as you can see here, messages would quit randomly when replying to a message with a shared Apple watch face. So keep in mind that if your messages app was crashing, Apple has acknowledged this issue and it is now addressing and fixing this with 18.0.1. So another reason obviously to update. And there was also performance issues on iPhone. So as you see here, the fourth thing that Apple is mentioning here is performance issues. So performance may be impacted due to issues with memory allocation on some iPhone models. So some older iPhones were also reporting issues with touchscreen and lag. And I think this is what Apple is referring to. So performance issues being addressed here with iOS 18.0.1, which obviously also it is recommended for all iPhone users to update to the latest 18.0.1. And now something else that I always recommend everyone to do after updating their iPhones is update all their applications so that you avoid any third party app issues. Just head on over into the app store, make Make sure you click onto your account here on the top right go ahead and swipe hold and swipe down and refresh and if there's any updates available for your third-party applications make sure you update your applications immediately as well as your carrier update settings so if you want to go into settings on your iPhone after updating jump into general go into the about section pop into this section here wait about five seconds if you see a pop-up with a carrier update make sure you update your carrier settings as well keep in mind not everyone will see a carrier update but it is something that I typically tell everyone to do, especially my new subscribers. I know my older subscribers already are aware of this, but there you guys have it. I was 18.0.1 addressing four issues. Everything we talked about from the touchscreen issues, camera freezing issues, the messages application, and even performance issues on iPhone. And this also brings, again, 
iOS 18 for the first time for iPads with M4. So there you guys have it, a long wait. It was worth the wait because Apple has addressed most of the issues and concern. And I'll get back to you guys with a follow-up video to make sure that everything was addressed properly. Thank you for watching. Just a quick update. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.